How's it going everybody, it's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and in today's video I'll be bringing you guys another episode of Father Sunday, of course being a dual commentary with my dad, so dad, introduce yourself. Hey, what is up warriors? Hey, it's been a couple weeks since I've been with you and I'm happy to be back, so I have three things I want to talk about, get to right away here. Alrighty, sounds great. One is, uh, I have some thoughts on snipers and shotguns in this game. Ah, uh, it's just annoying. Okay, number, go on. Number two is crippled at Disneyland. Uh, it's, All right. it's an interesting story. Mm -hmm. And then we had a kidnapping in our family that I think we need to tell everybody about. We indeed did but we'll have to stay to the end to be able to hear about that so make sure to stay to the end okay so snipers and shotguns I, you know i was noticing that when you play and oftentimes even when i play uh, some of some of the worst deaths that i have are from snipers or shotguns mm -hmm, because they're mainly one hit weapons yeah they just seemed kind of overpowered so i thought you know what what if what if there was uh, you know because we're always looking for equalizing the playing field making that sure is that true it's fair. i mean a lot of people complain about it how lag comp this lag comp that this guy's using a sniper this guy's using a dsr or remington some people even say the remington r870 shotgun is even like the the most newbie gun in the game now i don't have to i don't have to agree with them but i kind of do you know i mean of course you're not forced to agree with them but i think shotguns are mainly the way that i die a lot because <laughs> Oh, okay, is go it, on. Is it kind of like the 1887s and MW2 when they when you had them dual wield? How unfair they were. Oh, well, before they patch it. Yeah. I mean, of course, nothing was as crazy as that because oh. I mean, those things were just out, completely outrageous. But uh, you were playing just... with it with a shotgun the other day that I'm like, how does it have so much range? But I think mm -hmm. it was on MW3. It was on MW3. It was the USAS 12. That thing is an absolute monster, especially when using the proficiencies, damage, or range, or especially when you get on your like seven or eight kill streak specialist bonus. Oh my gosh, you're just a complete monster. Okay, so. So, so you kind of like it when, you, when you're when you holding it in your hands, but when other people yeah. are using that gun, it doesn't seem fair. So I was thinking no. maybe shotguns and snipers should have their own class because cause shotguns and snipers, it, there is an art to it. There is. I mean, you you see different clans like FaZe. I have more respect for the feeding people in FaZe and like Dare and mm -hmm. Soar, but I still think trick shotting is pretty cool. But uh, you, A lot of work. That, that is very true. It's a lot of repeat, 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 hurry up and wait and stuff like that, and it's just... I don't know. It's still, it still takes talent to be able to do stuff and hit crazy shots like that. And I still think it's really, really entertaining. No disrespect to any sort of clans or anyone like that. But So if snipers and shotguns were just maybe you could have a, a game mode or a class or a, a whatever where you didn't a run into snipers and shotguns. A separate game mode? Like a full-on sniper game mode? I mean, I would love that, honestly. I'd probably even play it. Yeah, and, and what about a game mode where there were no snipers or shotguns? I'd play that in a heartbeat as long as a lot of people played it because, you know, back in Black Ops 1, I think we had a game mode where there was no ghost. Now, I'm not quite sure if I can remember the name of it, but I'll tell you if I do. But not many people played it, so you just only get the tryhards. So it was either like play with people with ghosts or play a bunch of tryhards. You know, either way, it's kind of a lose-lose situation. So they're always kind of trying to even things out, make it, make it more level so you can kind of know what you're getting. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, when you just hop into a regular 6v6 team deathmatch and you're like, you don't know what's going to happen. There could be a full enemy team only using the small, and it, you just be done. Like, I mean, of course, it's just not a good situation when the whole enemy team is constantly using light machine guns with target finders and launchers. It can get really annoying, and that's why some people don't really enjoy certain Call of Duties. Like, I mean, of course, I'm not really going to enjoy it when the whole enemy team is using a light machine gun with a target finder and, like, some sort of crazy launcher as their secondary, I mean... It's just not really skillful. I mean, I, I, of course, it does take a little bit amount of skill to be able to kill someone with a launcher, but you know, it's kind mm. of really cheap, in my opinion. Yeah, almost like the noob tube in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I, you know what I've noticed is that people are going back and playing a little bit more MW3 than they used to do that when MW3 was the main game, the the, the newest game. Mm -hmm. People didn't go back and play Black Ops very much. Not very often. I mean, I even find a few people going back and playing Black Ops One. Yeah, and, and a little bit of MW2, I guess on. On, yeah, uh, yeah. Online, but mm -hmm. you know, so maybe maybe that just says something about whether Infinity Ward or Treyarch is better. I mean, maybe. they both have their strengths. They do. Okay, so uh, I was reading this article about a guy who is handicapped. Okay. Okay. And he decided he was going to rent himself out to people who wanted to go to Disney World. Oh, oh, for the uh, so to be able to get in lines really fast. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. To it's kind of like skip a, ahead. Yeah, a line jumper basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and Disneyland apparently cool. will sell you this. I call it the rich guy pass mm -hmm. uh, for like three hundred bucks, where you can get to the front of the lines without waiting. Yeah. And and he would do it by selling his services. So he would hang out in in a wheelchair with people at Disney World, and they could get to the front of the lines if they paid him like one hundred and seventy five bucks a day. I, I would do it. I mean, honestly, because the one thing, if you think about one thing at like Magic Mountain and stuff like that, or Disneyland or Disney World, mm -hmm. what is the one thing that you, you don't like about going there? Yeah, stepping in gum. 
Uh, I guess that counts. Okay, and the lines. I mean, yeah, and the, the lines. lines. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, and the high prices for the food. But, mm-hmm. you know, it, you know, I could go on. But, yeah, definitely. If you could avoid the lines, wouldn't you go more often? Definitely. I mean, it's not that expensive to go to Disneyland for a day to buy a, a ticket for two or three people. Really, is it? Nah, I think it's like 60 or 70 bucks a piece. Yeah, so. not too expensive. For, I mean, if you're going to have a lot of fun. I mean, yeah, and you could get in front of the lines. That yeah. that's That's the key. So, um, you know, when I was young, I lived near Disneyland, okay. and my friends would often go and rent a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. We'll because rent a wheelchair from Disneyland? From or? Disneyland. You could rent them there. Huh. And um, then they would just get in front of the lines, and then what they would do is when they got to the front of the line, and then you, know, you have to prove that you can walk a certain distance in case the ride breaks down or something, Yeah. my buddy would just hobble over very slowly, like holding his back like an old man and limping. <laughs> So he, oh they're like, oh, gee, poor guy. And he they mm-hmm. would just get right to the front of the lines because Disney doesn't make you, like, show your handicap tattoo. Or I mean, whatever. exactly. Like, what if Disneyland did deny you that you were crippled and you actually were crippled? Like, oh, yeah. that the, the bad press is not worth it. So they don't care. Yeah. They just they'll give you your handicap pass. You don't even need to rent a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. But I guess the people doing this at Disney World didn't know that because they were paying this guy 175 bucks a day just to ride around with him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I thought I think people could do the same thing at, at Christmas, like at the mall. You know, hmm. get just get great parking. Great parking, yeah. Because I mean, <laughs> like those Black Friday sales, we know people go crazy for those, especially at Walmart. Like oh, I can yeah. see someone easily doing that with the parking and the the having to be able to get the special parking just because you're delayed or whatever. All right. Well, I think you should. It's time that you share the the, the hmm. scary thing that happened to you this week. I did get kidnapped. In fact, I mean, that, it's frightening. So it what, was so, scary. I so was scared. What is it? You were over at a friend's house and people, did people storm in and turn off the lights? And Yeah, okay. So what it was like up? was I was over at my friend's house with another friend. So three of us, we were downstairs playing pool. And then we thought we would go up and play a little bit of zombies because they like zombies. They're really athletes, but they still like video games here and there. So you what can were be we, an athlete and like video games. Very true. Green yeah, Goblin I mean, HD. <laughs> exactly. But okay, so what they were doing was they were we were playing zombies upstairs in uh, his room, one of my friend's rooms, who we were because we were at his house. And we were just playing as soon as we start the game you know click start on zombies because we were mm-hmm. in a split screen you know just really hang out and have a lot of fun and as soon as that happens i don't know if that was a coincidence whether that happened or not <laughs> but as soon as that we hear boom and then the cl- the door just opens and, you- and i turn around for a second we all turn around and we're all just uh, we got blindfolded like instantly it was all three of us we all got blindfolded then we got wow. walked down the stairs we were handed our shoes and then we get in this did huge you resist or did no you- no i i just kind of went along with it because i i felt like it wasn't really real like I knew okay. it wasn't real. I mean, obviously, I didn't actually get kidnapped. And if you do, I mean... Yeah, did they zip tie you? you know? No, they put, like, the... They were, like, holding our arms behind our back, and uh-huh. they had, like, this blind thing. Like, they, they put... Like, they, so you couldn't see? Like, yeah, you were playing exactly. pin the tail on a donkey? Mm-hmm. They blindfolded us, and it was it was scary. But it actually ended up being my youth group, or one of my two youth groups. I like to go to youth group. It's just a... It's, it's a cool place to hang out with friends, but... So they put you in, like, a pedophile van? Was yeah, that, it, that, was, that like, was like, it was the legit pedophile white van. <laughs> hey, have you seen my puppy? Come over here. I have candy for you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Don't that, fall that, for those kids. That's the van it was. I'm not even joking. That's scary. So they so they duct taped you, hog tied you, and uh, threw you in the back of the van with like 70 other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, but they, they didn't beat me or anything. So oh, okay. it was all good. It was all good. Well, they can't beat you. You, you never lose. I yes. never lose? Yeah, that's they can't beat you. Oh, oh okay. okay. It was a stretch. <laughs> it was a stretch. Sorry for that. Yeah, I meant physically beating. But oh. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give me a big thumbs up rating down below. If we could try and hit 160 like ratings on this video, that'd be really cool. Make sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Go ahead and like my Facebook page. All links in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's been QuadMFT, and I'll see you next time. See if I don't get kidnapped. <laughs>